Hey guys, um, welcome back to another NECA review. And yes, I have not done a video like this in a long time. Actually, I haven't made a video like just me talking to the camera in so long. I really apologize. This just got really old for me, and I just didn't have. I just, yeah, you understand. But I just got a new 2018 reissue, but you can see right here. Uh, the old one, I still have the old one. I'm not going to show it because there's something about it that I don't want to talk about. It's not broken or anything. It's just, I made it into a custom figure and it's supposed to be, you know. But I don't want to spoil anything for, like, a friend of mine. It's, uh, it's so important for it. So, that's why, but I guess you're going to watch, like, a favorite, or, like, a a comparison video of someone else's review, but I'm just reviewing this reissue today, it's the, I think it's the, let me see the box, they put the year on the bottom, it's the last two digits, that means it's, it's a, it's, yeah, it's the 2022 release date, re reissue, the 2022, 2018 reissue, so, yeah, so what he comes with, uh, let me just take out the knife right now, I'll just try and explain it, it, so he comes with, one, two, three, four, six hands, oh, he's, he has two of them in, but four other hands, um, two heads, a pumpkin that lights up, uh, Officer Francis' head, a knife, a hammer, and a fire poker, and also his sister's tombstone, Judith Meyer's tombstone. So yeah, uh, we're just going to go through those accessories and the, you know, we have the accessories. We're going to go through the accessories first, and then I'm going to bring in, like, we're gonna look at the figure, and then I'm gonna bring in other figures that we've already looked at and stuff. So I'm gonna look at like, let's look at like the weapons first. So here we have an, the knife. It's just a standard Michael knife. It's just a uh, chrome. Well, not cr not exactly chrome, but you know you, you know what I mean. It's like just a silver knife. There's nothing really important about it. We got a really bloody hammer here. This is like the whole top of it is just drenched in this dog blood. And uh, we also got this fire poker. This is a huge fire poker. Uh, this is when he fights Lori with it at the end of it. I guess we'll look at the hands. He's got one relaxed hand. Uh, he also has another relaxed hand. It's on his hand right now. So he comes with two relaxed hands, one grasping hand for the left hand the blown off fingers hand and another grasping hand or not uh this is a grasping hand this is more of like a i guess you could say like a last hand a little bit it's kind of just a little bit different but this one's also cool and stuff he's got really messed up hands like i didn't really see it on the old one like you can see even just on these hands like look how screwed up they are like they're so like scarred and actually i don't know if those are scars or not they might just be the blood on his hands after you know killing people because we don't really call any scars on his hands for most of it all right so let's look at officer francis's head probably the most brutal thing that was made look at this dude Jeez. He's got kind of like a jaundice in color in that. I mean, I don't know if it's just in camera. It's not, it's more yellow in camera for some reason. The old one was a lot darker. I don't have the old one. I don't, I mean, I think I do, but it's like I chopped it in two pieces. Uh, I was going to like update it, but I never did. And uh, it had like really red skin. And there was a lot of red over the face. The hair was a lot darker than before. The sculpt is the same. It's just like different paint job, you know. The pumpkin, it's pretty much the same. I don't think I have the other pumpkin. Uh, I have it still, but it's not anywhere near me. You know, it lights up. Nothing different than the old one. Here, actually, I'm going to save the head for last because I want to look at the head side by side. So here's Judith Meyer's tombstone. Born November 10th, 1947 and died October 31st, 1963. Our beloved jo daughter... Judith Myers. That sucks. Yeah, they're all really good um, freaking accessories. You know, they're right to scale. They they all look really good. I think the blood on the, the 
this reissue is so much better than the old one. Like, they even added, like, a a shiny kind of, like, like, it's not, I don't know if it's just the paint that they added that makes it shiny, or they put something over the paint that makes the paint look shiny, like the blood areas. But it looks so good. Like, even when the light catches it. God, look, look at the tendons and, like, all the arteries in that hand. That's so gross. Look at that. That's really cool. And here, it's really glossy around like I mean, it's not really blood. Even though you think there'd be a lot more blood. It's not really blood, it's more of like irritation and bruising, I guess. And then right here there's like you know freaking flesh just exposed. But yeah, let's look at Michael now. Look at Michael now, and we can already see that this is a vast improvement over the original. Um, and I'm I ain't gonna say that this is a big improvement. I'm so happy they made this reissue look this good. Like I was kind of skeptical. I thought it was like I watched review spots review on it. I was like, you know, it looks kind of gray. I don't really like the gray look of the mask. I don't really like portions of it. I don't know if it's just his, his figure or what, but. When you look at, like, other figures, or when you get it in person, it just looks so good. Like, let me take the head off the mask real quick. The mask is really the main point of the reissue. Like, look at that, dude. It looks so much better. The size of it is so much up to scale. Only problem with the hair, I think the hair lost a little bit. Like, on the old one, I had more texture. It looks, little, it looks like... It looks like someone painted over it with a like brown paint. Just just flat brown paint. I'm definitely gonna add some brooded hair to it, some actual hair to it when I update this figure. This it's just a much better paint job, like and you can see the dead eye in there, the other eye. Oh my god. The uh what is it? The knitting needle mark is so much more apparent, you can actually see it now. Well, not, not that you couldn't before, but it was just like a red spot. That's it. It was like a red spot before. Now it's like actually there. It looks so much better. And I will say, like, if you look at the Halloween kills in 2018, I know they're side, different sculpts and they're made like three years apart. But like, if you look at the original 2018 figure and you look at the Halloween kills figure next to each other, you're supposed to believe that the same mask just burned, once burned and a damaged more yeah no they look so different and this one looks much more close to the actual kills figure they released even though you know it's not really exactly the same it's like you know it's not too it's not too similar but to the actual kills figure which i wish it was but you know it's a lot closer to it than the original was one thing i have noticed with these coveralls that the original didn't have um is that what I hated about the original um, was that the coveralls were like a little bit brighter. They were like they were too saturated. If that made sense. Like you could see that they were blue. Like with these ones, they're like pretty dark, which I like. Uh, the blue undershirt in the original one was so much more apparent. You can actually see the blue so visibly. And then. Um, also, another thing that stood out drastically with the old one is that it was, like, glossy. Like, the coveralls were all, like, glossy looking. This one, they put, like, a matte finish over it so it doesn't look too stupid. <laughs> like, he's all wet. Thankfully, it doesn't look like that. Alright, uh, I have not looked at the separate head. I just noticed that. So, this is, shoot, this is the other head. Uh, there's not, there's not a lot different to it. The eyes are just a little bit smaller, I noticed, and the hair's pretty the same. And uh, the eyes are blacked out. That's, I noticed a lot of people say like, what's the difference? They added one with eyes painted in and the other with eyes just blacked out. And then here we got 2018, Michael right next to him. I mean, I don't know if it's here, let me fix this. But the leg is all screwed up, so he's standing all over. Okay, there we go. The coveralls are super similar, which I like, but I noticed that 
with the 2018, they didn't fix this with it, so I'm guessing they they knew that this was here. But with the this 2018, you feel you feel it. He like the overlay on it, the plastic over, overlay is like you know, it's much more distinguishable. It's actually like yeah, you can push in the stomach quite a bit. Then with the kills one, you can barely like, which I like because it makes them thinner. Like he is in the movies. So I guess it, I guess you could say that these coveralls are more baggy than the kills coveralls. I guess you could say that. Um, yeah, I guess yeah, they look pretty good next each other. Um, if you're wondering, I will update this figure. Um, I just wanted to get him so I could update him. And I'm using the other head for a new Rob Zombie Halloween 1 Scarred Mask. Well, this is a kills figure, so it's not really a whole lot of point to me bringing him in here. Yeah. Yeah, this Michael is actually, like, super good. Like, if you want to get... If you haven't gotten the 2018 yet, I uh, definitely recommend getting this guy. If you have the original 2018, I still definitely recommend getting this guy. This guy, this 2018, the reissue is so much better. Like, I'm not even mine. I just, yeah, this 2018 figure is so much better than the original. Um, the paint job on everything is so much better. The mask, the mask is the biggest. They made it bigger, so it looks, he isn't so small-headed. Now, he, he had such a small head before. When I, th I thought that he, he had like such a tiny head before. But yeah, he's actually like up to scale. His head's up to scale, he looks great. Yeah, I definitely recommend getting this guy you haven't already yeah thank you guys so much for watching this review of 2018 michael i'm definitely glad i have this figure all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye